Butterflies are fascinating and beautiful creatures. For many, they symbolize transformation and resurrection. They begin life as a tiny egg, no bigger than the head of a pin. These little white dots deposited on the underside of the leaves of their host plants will be flying soon. A few days after the egg is deposited, it becomes a small, slow-moving, ugly caterpillar eating the leaves of its host plant. A few weeks later, responding to an inner voice, they wrap themselves in a shroud as if preparing for death. Then they are transformed. This time, the chrysalis they've created begins to come apart and a new creation is born again. Life, death, resurrection, transformation, new life. Butterflies can live up to nine months, not long in human terms perhaps, but it's their lifetime, and anything we can do to help them survive is important. When you plant a butterfly garden, you can see this happening. You can actually play a role in helping to make it possible. You don't have to be a master gardener. You just need to have the desire to create habitat, the right plants, some dirt, water, and sunshine. Butterflies live on the nectar of the plants they favor, and they like to be in the sun. They need some shelter and some water. There are thousands of butterfly species in the world. In Florida, where we have our garden, there are nearly 200 according to the University of Florida's Center for Landscape Conservation and Ecology. Each has its own preferred food source, and just as important, their preference for where to lay their eggs. The host plant will sustain them until they're ready for their second act. The monarch butterfly, for example, will only lay its eggs on the leaves of a milkweed plant. As habitat is lost to development, it's imperative to restore as much as humanly possible for the sake of preserving these beautiful creatures and other species as well. The same goes for pesticides to kill the bugs we don't like. Pesticides can't tell the difference between a good bug and a bad bug. The internet has some wonderful resources to help guide you in the selection of plants. Your local county extension office and garden stores can also provide a wealth of information. They can tell you what host plants are best for your part of the country and what plants will provide an ongoing source of nectar for the types of butterflies you'd like to attract and help propagate. Butterflies are attracted by color, but just because a plant has color doesn't mean it will work. If it can't provide a food source and a safe place to create its chrysalis, it's of no use. Butterfly gardens bring beauty to a landscape, but more importantly, they provide habitat. They attract bees and hummingbirds and provide a nursery for the butterflies in waiting. They provide a safe place for these enchanting creatures. They're fun to watch and provide a wonderful lesson for children to learn about the miracle of life in the ways of plants. A butterfly garden is a microcosm of the earth. When thoughtfully planned and lovingly maintained with ample water and sun, it practically takes care of itself and in the process, takes care of us.